how to use retool for pignals in 2025 hey everyone in this video i will show you how you can use retool in 2025 from understanding the dashboard to actually building your first app this tutorial is perfect for small business owners data team or even students who wants to turn their data into apps without building a website or learning full stack development now if you're not familiar with retool so basically retool is a low code platform that helps you to build internal tools like admin panel dashboard and databases instead of everything uh, instead of coding everything from scratch you just connect your data source like google sheet or firebase or apis etc then drag and drop ui components like table chart buttons and form to create fully functional apps no need for full web development team just plug in your data build logic visually and get your app running in a minutes so let's get started first thing first what you have to do is just come to this website which is retool after clicking on the first link something will look like this this is a website of retool and in the right side in the top you will get to see start for free so simply click on it and you have to make an account on retool to get started now it will ask you to enter your email and password if you are a new you can just simply continue with the google i will choose continue with the google so just now after continuing with google something will appear in front of you it will ask you what is your name i will give a random name to this website and then what is the name of your organization enter your name of your organization over here and then hit continue if you are a complete beginner to build any app it will guide you it will give you a tour of this their website now for this tutorial i will just skip the tour but if you are a beginner i will suggest you to go with this tour it will give you a basic understanding of a retool editor just simply click on the skip tour and it will take you to the editor of retool what i will do in the left side there is an option of retool logo click on it and click on back to home it will take you to the dashboard of retool where you can see there are tons of option all right so now that we are inside a retool let's edit the dashboard this is the first screen you will see on uh, once you are logging think of this as a dash uh, think of this dashboard as your home base this is where you can access all your existing projects as you can see here this is all our existing project and this is where you can access all your uh, started building new ones now if you see in the top navigation bar there is uh, some option as you can see here app resources database query library and workflow the app app is basically this is where all your apps live live it is currently selected and you can see any project you have created or collaborated on as you can see here this is that now if you go into resources so resources is basically uh, where you can manage database or apis your app connected to so you can use this resources to connect database or api with retool so it is very simple you can do that now let's go to database so database is basically handy built in retool database if you want to store a simple data quickly it can help you with that now i will not go into details so let's go back into resources then we will go to another which is query library the query library is basically this hold all of reusable queries so you don't have to write the same database call again and again so yeah you can use it for this will save a lot of time because you can use uh, you can reuse these queries now let's go to workflow so workflow is basically it can automate tasks like sending emails updating databases or pulling in data or pulling in data on schedule so yeah you can do that with with, with the workflow you can create uh, automatic automate you can automate the task now let's go back to our dashboard and now over here and on the top right 
you will see there is a search bar this is where you can quickly find anything if you want to if you want something related to your project you just type name it will appear in front of you now this is a create so a this is a big blue create button we will use this in a bit to build something from scratch so it just skip this now the right side again from here you can see there are some options so basically by just clicking you can uh, create a web app mobile app and resources workflows so this is a like quick access of uh, your things now let's get back again so let's understand this one so in the recent uh, recent is this is show you most recent edited apps so over here you will get to see if you go into publish the publish is uh, basically this is our finished apps you have deployed so right now i haven't uh, deployed any app so uh, you can see that now if you go into draft draft is big basically work in progress projects go to start start is your personal favorites and in trash trash is anything you have deleted right now we can see two projects first is united and the second is guide tool for maker so yeah you can see view by me last editor location and all of those settings now on the right side as i said this is a quick access of your tools so let's say if you want to create a web app or for building admin tools or dashboards or anything for desktop you can use this web app now let's say if you go to mobile app it is great for field team or mobile first tool so you can use into mobile uh, resources now if you go into resources so resources is think of this like connecting a database or api to with your app now workflow is uh, for automation or backend logic as i already explained this now form is a data sample collection you can click on any of these to start instantly without going through complex set of flows now at the bottom you will see uh, zero selected from recent so yeah because we haven't selected anything yet so i have explained dashboard in very beginner level so let's get uh, create something uh, with retool now let's get step by step to build a fully functional user admin tool in retool now what you have to do is simply create a user admin tool for the app go to this app like this app you this app lets you to view a list of user select and edit user detail and add new user or delete user so we will simulate data using retools mock database it's great for practice now what you have to do a uh, create new web app in the top you will get to see there is an app click on it now uh, name that app with your as you can see give the name click on the left top you will get to see there is an untitled uh, project just click the name and re-enter your name user admin tool now if you want to give a description you can give that too right now i will just put some random stuff over here and just simply click on the save and click on the create app now you will land on the app builder screen this is a where a common com a commonly used co components like table text action button select no number inputs and pages if you want to see there there is only one page you, there are component trees uh, there are a lot of things over here so just simply click on uh, this plus icon in the left now what you have to do set up the data source we will use root retool mockup data was a uh, database for now now scroll down uh, a little bit so let's say let's add a table into it now what you have to do you have to connect the data with this uh, table now for this demo i'm going to create a google sheet now go to google sheet and add some raw columns data over here for example name number id uh, address let's say just uh, just this uh, for the sake of this tutorial and click on the escape restricted copy links click on done change the name with 
test one now go back to your editor and over here the top you will get to see there is an option of connect data click on it and it will give you the google sheet uh, it will give you the ways to connect your uh, ways to connect this table with these kind of data uh, inputs now what you can we have to select the google sheet so click on it now we haven't uh, yet connected this google sheet with the the tool so add the name test one and then give a description and then click on the connect with auth and it will ask you to re-authenticate now click on the leave no leave it will redirect you to this page where you have to authenticate your retool account with google sheet now just choose your google account and connect with it now allow all of those things now as you can see here uh, missing a spreadsheet id select a spreadsheet from the drop down or enter a valid spreadsheet id so we have to add a spreadsheet id as you can see here uh, if you say read data like number boolean string so i have to add a lot of things so basically you can connect this is how you can connect your spreadsheet with this table now let's say if you want to add button you can add that too let's say click on the button now uh, from here you can manage the button like text accessible name add-ons if you want to add the interaction uh, event handler it will trigger the query uh, after clicking from here you can uh, control or edit the this button uh, tr triggered now let's say so this is giving me some error so basic idea of connecting the spreadsheet with retool you can uh, use this step now there are a lot to cover in the retool i will not go into that because uh, if you want to create a app with retool just let me know in the comment section so i will make the tutorial on it to create app now let's say if you want to uh, go to from templates they have pre-built template as well now if you want to uh, like ai chats uh, let's say if you want ai chats you can use it like they have a lot of templates just go and see and you can customize as well as now let's uh, see the create app from template now just click on the create app from template from bottom now it will create a app using that template so we can customize as well so you don't need to worry about it so it's like how this is work so they have demo data which is uh, connected now column has id user id role enable so they have a lot of things over here so you can come and see if you want to connect data you can just go and connect it from your uh, source so that's it for today's video if you found this video informative then subscribe to the channel and give us a feedback into comment section and if you want more tutorials on uh, t-tool then just comment it down i will make it thank you for watching